I once again welcome you all uh, to the session on the herbal drug technology. In the today's session, we are going to discuss the herbs for skin care from the topic herbal cosmetic. So let us see the details of herbs for skin care. Mainly for the skin care, we are using the herbs for protection and as an anti-aging agent. Then there are uh, some fixed oils are also there, which are being used for the skin care, along with the volatile oils. Then herbs are also being used as an antioxidant and colorant in the skin cosmetic. Whatever the herbs for the hair, we will discuss it later on. So the skin protecting and anti-aging agent which are being used from the herbs are aloe, oats, golden root, carrot, ginkgo, turmeric, ginseng, vitamin C, and vitamin E. Apart from the vitamin C and vitamin E, we will discuss all the herbs related with their description and its uses <coughs> along with the chemical constituents. Then the volatile oils which are being used for the skin care are the calendula, rose oil, eucalyptus oil, chamomile, citrus oil, geranium oil, lavender oil, and tea tree oil. Then the antioxidants, which are being used in the skin formulation, which are being derived from the herbs like a tea, grape seed, red clover, and the fenugreek. Then the colorants which are being used in the skin formulations or skin cosmetics are from the anato, avocado, beetroot, butterfly, carrots, henna, hibiscus, iris, and the indigo. So let us see the herbal raw material for the skin care, which is being used to prepare the sudden cosmetic preparation. So very first one, the sandal wood. Maybe every one of you are aware about the smell of the sandal wood or the sandal oil. And this is one of the components which is being used in the various skin preparation as a flavoring agent or as a perfumery. Apart from this, there are so many other applications are also there for the sandal wood. So the sandal wood, it consists of hard wood of Santalum album belongs to family Santalaceae. The wood is obtained from main stem and the branches of the sandal tree. Mainly, the, it contains the volatile oil, which contains 95% of two isomeric sesquiterpenes alcohol, namely alpha and beta santal. It also contains the santalal, santine, santanone, santalone, and the santal. So the sandal wood, as well as the sandal oil, it is being used as a perfumery in the preparation of various skin cosmetics. Apart from this, the sandal wood, it is being used as an astringent, antiseptic, then as a skin conditioner in the various cosmetic preparation like cream, lotion, soap, and powder. So this is about the <coughs> sandal wood in the skin care. Let us move towards the next that is known as the coca butter, or it is also known as the Chobroma oil. Mainly the coca butter or the Chobroma oil, it is used for the preparation of the suppository. So the coca butter, it is uh, obtained from roasted seeds of uh, Chobroma cacao belonging to family Sterculaceae. If you can see the figure, the coca butter is a yellowish white solid and which is a brittle below 25 degrees Celsius. It is going to melt at body temperature. It has pleasant chocolate odor and the taste. It consists of mainly the glycerides of steric acid, palmitic acid, olic acid, and small amount of linoleic acid and the arachidic acid. It is being used as an emollient in the various skin preparations as a base for suppositories, 
and uh, ointment furthermore it is used to prepare certain uh, skin cosmetics like uh, creams as well as the toilet soap so mainly the cocoa butter it is used to manufacture the creams and the toilet soap furthermore it is going to reduce the formation of stretch mark during the pregnancy by keeping the skin supple and it is used as an ingredient in the lotion bars lip balms body butter soaps and belly balms for the expectant mother so these are the various uses of the cocoa butter and cocoa butter might be the one of the component of the skin product due to all these its application so this is about the cocoa butter or the chewbroma oil let us move towards and we will see the details of the ginseng all of you are aware about the ginseng already we have discussed previously so ginseng it is obtained from the panax ginseng belongs to family areliaceae if you can see the chemical constituents which are present in the ginseng it mainly contains the saponins ginseng oil phytosterols carbohydrates and the organic acid if you can see the activities of ginseng related with the skin it is going to activate the skin metabolism it reduces the keratinization and enhances the skin fairness when we are using it topically it is going to act as an antioxidant then it reduces the wrinkles and signs of aging it promotes the elasticity and the collagen production in the skin furthermore it is going to reduce the puffiness and the inflammation and it is going to lighten or brighten the skin so it is possible to use the ginseng uh, in the various skin cosmetics maybe the creams or the lotion due to uh, all these uh, uses or the applications of the ginseng that is the anti aging then it reduces the wrinkles and it is going to lighten or the brighten the skin and furthermore it is also having the antioxidant property so this is about the ginseng let us see the golden root so the golden root it is obtained from rhodiola rosea belongs to family crassulaceae it contains mainly the phenol rosavin rosin organic acid terpenoid and the polyphenol it is being used as an emollient and for the skin protection mainly it is used for the skin care it boosts microcirculation in the skin it promotes the production of the collagen and elastin it reduces the appearance of fine lines and the wrinkles on the skin it provide powerful antioxidant protection so these are the some of the uses of the golden root and it is being used to prepare some of the skin cosmetics it is being used in the creams as well as the lotion let us see the carrots everyone aware about the carrot it contains the carotenoid isn't it so the carrot it is uh, obtained from discus carota belongs to family apiaceae if you can see the chemical constituents of the carrot it contains beta carotene vitamin a b c e k and lesser amount of the carotene polyacetylene such as the falcarinol and falcarin diol these are the chemical constituents which are present in the carrot also the carrot it gives the some of the color, coloring agent isn't it so it is being used as an antioxidant in the formulation it is going to act as an anti aging and revitalizing for the skin furthermore it is going to be used as face cleanser moisturizer it is being used in the skin products like creams and the eye creams also there are two products are available in the market that is the carrot root oil and the carrot seed oil both the products are having the role in the cosmetics carrot root oil it is used as a moisturizing base for dry skin in a face and the 
body product whereas carotid oil it is used primarily as a fragrance component in soaps detergents creams lotions perfumes and helps in the wrinkles rashes dry skin and swelling and also it gives the sun protection so this is about the carrot then let us see the turmeric so the turmeric it consists of dried and fresh rhizomes of the curcuma longa belonging to family zinzibaraceae so it mainly contains the volatile oils resins and curcumin oils mainly the curcumin it is present in the turmeric it is going to be used in the skin cosmetics as well as the hair cosmetics it is going to act as an antiseptic anti inflammatory then skin conditioning as well as it is having the antioxidant properties it is furthermore used for the skin care cosmetics it is also used as a coloring agent antimicrobial and wound healing agent it is incorporated in the ointments and the creams furthermore it is also going to be used in the certain hair products because it is going to prevent the hair loss it is going to fight the dandruff it improves the scalp health and that's why it is being used in the some of the hair preparations like a shampoo as well as the hair oil we are not going to repeat the turmeric again in the hair hair products okay so this is about the turmeric then the aloe aloe it is uh, being used in the skin as well as the hair cosmetics so aloe is the dried juice collected by the incision from the basis of leaves of various species of aloe that is aloe peri then aloe vera aloe barbadensis and aloe ferra belonging to family liliaceae it mainly contains the aloins barbaloin beta barbaloin isobarbaloin resin imodin and the aloe imodin it is going to be used as an emollient then it is having the antibacterial property it is going to give the skin soothing effect then it is going to be used on the burns and the other skin problems it is going to heal moisturizes and soften the skin furthermore if you can see the chemical constituents of aloe it comprises the amino acids like leucine isoleucine saponins glycoside that provide the cleansing action and also it contains the vitamin a c e b choline vitamin b12 and folic acid it provides the antioxidant activity so it is going to be used in the skin cosmetics as well as the hair cosmetics so this is about the aloe the next herbal component that is the neem so the neem consists of almost all the parts of the adharitka indica belonging to family miliaceae it contains mainly the adha daraktin salinin then the hidumin azadirone nimbin nimbidin nimbicidin and nimbinol it is having the properties like antibacterial antifungal anti dandruff anti acne and also it is going to have the the certain effect in the gum disease the neem oil it is going to be used to prepare certain soap shampoos balms creams as well as the toothpaste means each and every type of cosmetic the neem it is being being used like a skin cosmetic hair cosmetics as well as the oral hygiene products it is being used to prepare the skin and hair cosmetics along with the oral care preparation so this is about the neem let us see the licorice licorice mainly used in the skin cosmetics it consists of dried roots and stolons of the glyceriza glabra belonging to family leguminosae so licorice contains the saponin glycoside and the glycerin it also contains the flavonoids liquiditin and the isoliquiditin it is being used uh, in the cosmetics mainly the ammonium and sodium salts of the glycerinic acid it is being used in the cosmetics it has a skin improving properties hence used in the skin care preparation so this is about the licori let us see the next drug that is the bringraj so bringraj mainly it is used in the hair cosmetics apart from hair cosmetics it is also having the role in the skin cosmetics so bringraj 
it consists of entire herb of the eclipta alba belonging to family asteraceae it contains mainly the alkaloid elliptisin amirin vedulolactone vedulic acid and luteolin it is being used as an anti inflammatory it is going to improve the skin complexation and also it is being used in the dentary process apart from these uses mainly it is going to strengthen the hair stimulate the hair growth it reduces the hair loss it prevents premature graying of the hair and helps to eliminate the dandruff so the bringer oil it is going to be used in the skin cosmetics hair cosmetics as well as the oral care product so this is about the bringer oil the next herb that is the mango seed oil so it is obtained from the seeds of uh, mangifera indica belonging to family anacardiaceae so this is the oil which is being obtained from the seeds of the mangifera indica belonging to family anacardiaceae oil it is a semi solid at room temperature having a melting point 32 to 42 degree celsius it contains mainly the palmitic acid stearic acid oleic acid and the linoleic acid it is going to be used in the skin cosmetics as well as the hair cosmetics so it is going to be used as an ointment based suitable ingredient for the baby creams and hair balms and the hair products it is an excellent moisturizer it reduces the acne as well as it is going to prevent the formation of dandruff so this is about the mango seed oil let us see the oats so the oats it is obtained from the avena sativa belonging to family germinae it contains mainly the protein mineral lipid fibers indolecloid fat polysaccharides and the flavonoids it is going to protect and repair the skin as well as hair it is going to be used as soothing agent moisturizing agent then furthermore it is going to be used to prepare the facial mask and the facial scrub it is going to reduce the redness due to the abrasion on the skin furthermore the oat oil it is used in the hand and body lotion then day and night cream then body baby oil body oil then oil for cuticles that is a nail then oat flour it is used in the hair care in the shampoos and conditioner then skin care in the creams and lotions then the talcs and dusting powder and the foundation so this is about the oat either oat flour or the oat oil it is going to be used in the various skin as well as the hair care products so this is about the oat let us see the next that is a ginkgo as you know that it is uh, obtained from that is the leaves are going to be obtained from ginkgo biloba belonging to family ginkgo ase it contains the phenolic acid proanthocyanidin ginkgo lime and the uh, bioflavone it is going to be used in the skin aging as well as it is going to used as used to reduce the wrinkles it is a rich with the vitamin e which helps to combat skin problems like a scar and the acne so ginkgo it is uh, having anti wrinkle properties it is going to be used as anti aging and also it is going to be used as anti acne it is going to be used to reduce the sunburn so it might be the one of the ingredient of the sunscreen preparation it increases the skin moisture retention and also furthermore it is going to increase the skin smoothness as well as reduces the skin roughness the leaf extract used as a conditioning agent sunscreen agent nourishing protective anti agent hair growth promoter and anti hair loss agent so ginkgo it is going to be used in the skin care preparations as well as the hair care preparation so this is about the ginkgo let us see the certain volatile oils which are being used in the skin care so very first one that is the calendula so calendula oil it is being obtained from the calendula officinalis belonging to family astraceae it mainly contains the calendula mainly contains 
the essential oils that is the alpha hugini alpha pinin one eight phenol and dihydro tagitol it is going to be used as an antioxidant anti inflammatory and wound healing it is an ideal ingredient for the facial creams and the moisturizer it seems to be it is being used in the various skin cosmetics that is the calendula the second volatile oil which is being obtained from the rose that is known as the rose oil it is going to be used as a flavoring agent also and it is having a great role in the skin care products it is obtained from rosa damascena belonging to family rosiaceae it is being obtained by distillation process it contains geraniol nerol linalool phenyl ethyl alcohol eugenol rose oxide benzaldehyde benzyl alcohol phenyl ethyl formate it helps for the wound healing and it maintains good skin health so this is about the rose oil the next volatile oil that is known as the eucalyptus oil so eucalyptus oil it is obtained by steam distillation from leaves of the eucalyptus cinerea belonging to family marastasi eucalyptus oil contains mainly the chemical constituents like 1,8 phenol limonene alpha pinene alpha philandrin and the camphor the essential oils of the eucalyptus shows soothing effect on the skin so it is going to be used for the massage it is also having the anti inflammatory and the analgesic activity some of the cosmetics related with the skin possesses the eucalyptus oil the next volatile oil that is the chamomile so it is obtained from german chamomile matricaria rectutita belongs to family compositi it consists of alpha pinene beta pinene myrcene caryophyllene propyl alginate and butyl alginate so these are the some of the chemical constituents which are present in the chamomile it is being used in the treatment of age spots then boils minor wounds insect bites dry skin sunburn acne and the psoriasis so these are the some of the uses of the chamomile and it is being used for preparation of the various skin cosmetics due to all these applications so this is about the chamomile let us see the citrus oil so the citrus oil it is obtained from the citrus panensis belongs to family rutaceae it consists of mixtures of acids then alcohols aldehydes esters ketones and the hydrocarbons so these are the chemical constituents which are present in the citrus oil it is composed of limonene alpha and beta pinene and the linalool so these furthermore it also contains the limonene alpha and beta pinene and the linalool it is going to be used as an antioxidant and cleans her and it is used in the skin problems such as the wars pons and the calluses so this is about the citrus oil citrus oil it is being used in the products related with the skin cosmetics then the geranium oil it is obtained from the water and steam distillation of shoots of plants of uh, pelagonium graveolin belongs to family geraniaceae it contains limonene methionin then geranyl acetate and citronellol it is going to be used as an anti aging agent then it is having the anti acne property and it is going to be used as a perfumery in the skin care products so this is about the geranium oil then the lavender oil so the lavender oil it is almost found in the various skin care products so it is obtained from the lavendula angustifolia belonging to family laminaceae it contains mainly the linalool alpha and gamma terpenols borneol tannins geraniol acetate so these are the some of the chemical constituents which are present in the lavender oil it is going to be used in the various skin disorders it is going to act as a antibacterial 
it is going to be used as an antipsychotic agent and it is going to avoid the wrinkle so this is about the lavender oil it is found in the so many skin care products then the tea tree oil so the tea tree oil it is uh, obtained from the leaves of plants melaleuca alternifolia belongs to family myrtaceae it contains mainly the terpeniol gamma terpenin alpha pinin and sabinin it is going to treat the sores then the spots rashes psoriasis warts burns and acne so there are so many uses are there related with the skin it is going to be used in the psoriasis used in the acne burns warts then rashes then spots so the tea tree oil it is found in the various skin care products so this is about the tea tree oil <coughs> let us move towards the various antioxidants which are going to be used in the skin care products the very first one that is a tea so tea there are two types of tea products are there one is a green another one is a black so the tea it is obtained from camellia sanesis belonging to family chiasi as i have said that there are two types of varieties are there one is a black and the second one is a green so black tea it is a prepared by fermentation process whereas the green tea it is going to be produced by steaming the leaves immediately after collection it contains mainly the tannins amino acid caffeine and the polysaccharides it is having anti inflammatory antioxidant anti allergic antibacterial and the antiviral effect green tea contains catechins flavonoids to repair the uv photo damage and the phototoxicity so it is going to be used in the certain sunscreen related products that is the green tea furthermore the green tea stimulates the formation of ceramides and the pingolipids in the skin that stimulates the lipid barrier if you can see the black tea is also going to act as an antioxidant and has a skin protective property so this is about the tea which is going to be used in the various cosmetics related to the skin let us see the next antioxidant for skin care that is the grape seed so look at the image so the seeds are collected from the vitis vinifera belongs to family vitaceae it contains the procyanidins so the procyanidins present in the grape seed it is a potent antioxidant it is having the potent antioxidant property that free radical scavengering activity they inhibit the lipid peroxidation then collagen and elastin degradation act as a tyrosinase inhibitor enhance the wound healing process and hence it is applied in the various skin disorders so grape seed products which are available in the grape seed products which are present in the so many skin care products related with the cosmetics so this is about the grape seed which is going to act as an antioxidant the third antioxidant that is the red clover so it is obtained from trifolium pretense belongs to family fabiaceae it contains mainly the isoflavone and it is used for the treatment of various skin disorders such as psoriasis eczema acne and the rash and that's why it is found in the some of the skin care products it is also going to act as an anti inflammatory agent and sun protective agent so it may be present in the sudden sunscreen furthermore it is going to promote the hair growth and also it is going to reduce the hair loss so it might be there in the hair care products also so this is about the red clover then the fenugreek so fenugreek it is obtained from the herb of trigonella phonium belongs to family fabaceae it contains mainly the cumarin hydroxy isoleucin leucine tyrosine proteins b complexes vitamin c and beta carotene 
It contains so many antioxidant agents, isn't it? So it is going to be used as an antioxidant in the preparation. Also, furthermore, the mucilage of the fenugreek, it is having the emollient properties. So the fenugreek, fenugreek, it is going to be used to treat the skin inflammation, chapped lips, mouth ulcer. It is going to act as an anti-acne and anti-aging agent. So this is the case related with the skin care. So it is found in the so many skin care products. Furthermore, the fenugreek, it is also there in the hair care. As it is having the properties, it is going to prevent the graying of hair. It is going to treat the dandruff. It promotes the hair growth and it is going to prevent the hair fall. So this is about the fenugreek, which is present in the skin care products as well as the hair care products. Let us see the various colorants which are being used to prepare the skin care products which are being obtained from the herbal sources. The very first one that is the anato. So the anato, it is a, an orange red colored compound obtained from the seeds of Bixa orillana, belongs to family Bixa seeds. It mainly contains the colored compound carotenoid, bixin, and the norbixin. There are two things which are present in the anato. There is the bixin and the norbixin. So bixin, it is a lipophilic constituent, and norbixin, it is a hydrophilic constituent because the solubility it is going to be decided by their properties. So thus, the anato color has a dual solubility property. So the bixin gives the orange color, whereas the norbixin gives the yellow color. So norbixin, it is soluble in the water and it produces the yellow color, whereas the bixin, it is a lipophilic in nature and it produces the orange color. It is insoluble in the water. So this is about the anato. The second color, which is being obtained from the avocado, so the oil, it is obtained from the Persia gratissima, belongs to family Lauraceae. It contains carotenoids and the chlorophyll, mainly contains the alpha carotene, beta carotene, neoxanthine, anthiraxanthines, then the chlorophyll A and B, and pheophytin A and B. So these are the major constituents which are present in the avocado. Furthermore, the main coloring agent which is present in the avocado, that is a lutein, it is going to produce the green or yellow color and it is lipophilic in nature, watery insoluble. Furthermore, it comprises the monosaturated fats, vitamin E, C, A, oleic acid and the linoleic acid. So due to presence of these chemical constituents, it is going to be used as moisturizer, it is having antioxidant properties, it is going to prevent the wrinkles and the expression lines on the skin, it is going to treat the psoriasis, then redness of skin, then the skin inflammation and the skin imperfection. Due to their antioxidant property, it is going to protect from the sun rays and it is going to act as an anti-acne. Apart from the uses related with the skin care, it is going to be used in the hair care also. It is going to stimulate the hair growth and prevent the hair loss. So this is about the avocado. Apart from its use as a colorant, it is going to be used, it is having the further uses related with the skin as well as the hair. So this is about the avocado. Then the beetroot, so beetroot it is uh, obtained from the beta vulgaris belonging to family Amaranthaceae. It contains natural colorant betanine. It is going to produce the pink color. Furthermore, it comprises mainly the vitamin C, which is going to act as an antioxidant. So it is going to act as an antioxidant, anti-aging agent, then anti-acne, then it is going to act on the pimple. 
then it is going to hydrate the skin it is going to prevent the dark circles it is going to prevent the wrinkles and also it is going to prevent the skin pigmentation so this is about the beetroot the next coloring agent which is being obtained from the butterfly pea so the butterfly pea it is obtained from the flowers of clitoria ternatia belongs to family fabiaceae so it shows presence of anthocyanins para formic acid and the ferulic acid so these are the some of the chemical constituents which are present in the butterfly pea the flowers are used to produce the blue color shade which is being used in the various skin care products and uh, it is uh, due to the presence of hydrophilic constituent that is a uh, delphinidin which is present in the butterfly pea it is going to be used as an antioxidant anti inflammatory skin soothing properties then collagen and elastin booster and also it is having the astringent property so this is about the butterfly pea let us see the carrots i think so already we have previously we have seen the carrots no isn't it also it is uh, being used as a coloring agent that's why i have taken it once again under the colorant so let us see the carrots so carrots it is obtained from the daucus carota sativa belongs to family apiaceae it contains the lipophilic colorant beta carotene and produces the orange color shade it shows the presence of alpha carotene gamma carotene and uh, lutein and uh, zeaxanthin it is a rich with the pro vitamin a it is an excellent antioxidant and anti aging agent it is rich with the linoleic acid the oil is very moisturizing and thus effectively protects the skin from external aggressions by preserving its natural hydrolipidemic film so this is about the carrot which is going to be give the orange color to the various skin care products then the henna henna it is obtained from leaves of plant lawsonia inermis belongs to family lythraceae so it contains the hydrophobic compound lawson along with the kinotanic acid and it gives the red orange color so it is going to be used to give the red orange color to the various skin products skin cosmetics so this is about the henna henna is also going to be used in the hair care products also then cochineal so cochineal is a red dye stuff it is derived from dried female insects dactylopeus coccus belongs to family cochidae this is not from the herbal source which is being obtained from the insect it mainly contains the carminic acid on crystallization of carminic acid it forms the red needles at 130 degrees celsius and middle darkens and also carbonizes at 250 degrees celsius it is going to be used in the skin care as well as the hair care cosmetic preparation so this is about the cochineal then the saffron it is going to be used as coloring agent as well as the flavoring agent in the various skin related cosmetic preparation so the saffron is a dried stigma and stylotops of the crocus sativus belongs to family iridaceae the color is reddish brown with a, some yellowish pieces of tops of style so mainly we are getting the color that is the reddish brown the odor of saffron it is a strong peculiar and aromatic the taste is aromatic and the bitter saffron mainly contains the carotenoids that is a crocin and picrocrocin so crocin is an important natural saffron carotenoid and picrocrocin is a colorless bitter glycoside responsible for saffron's characteristic odor it is going to be used as flavoring agent and the coloring agent in the various cosmetic preparations related to the skin so this is about the saffron then the hibiscus maybe you have observed there are so many 
types of uh, uh, colored flowers are there to the hibiscus, isn't it? And uh, the some colors which are being obtained from the hibiscus, which are being used in the various uh, skin care products. So the hibiscus, it is obtained from the plant hibiscus rosa sinensis, belongs to family Malvaceae. It contains the red hydrophilic pigment that is a cyanidin 3 isophosphoroside. Then the iris, iris it is obtained from the plant iris germanica, belongs to family iridaceae. It contains main constituents, mangiferin, which produces the purple or blue color or a green color shade. So two types of shades we are getting from the iris that is the purple or blue or a green color shade. Then indigo. So indigo, it is uh, obtained from leaves of uh, indigo fera tinctoria belongs to family leguminosae. So the indigo dye is a derivative of the indican, a glucose and is converted to blue indigo tin by an enzymatic process. So after enzymatic process, we are getting the blue colored indigo. So dye is obtained from fermented leaves of the plant. So this is about the indigo. So hibiscus, red color, then iris, purple or blue or green color, and indigo for the blue color. So here which we have finished the herbs for skin care. So we have discussed the skin protecting and anti-aging agents from the herb. We have discussed the volatile oils which are being used for the skin care. We have discussed the antioxidants which are being used in the skin care. And furthermore, the last point which we have discussed that is the colorants in the skin cosmetic. More specifically, the skin protectives and the anti-aging agents from the herb category, that is aloe, oat, golden root, carrot, ginkgo, turmeric, ginseng, vitamin C and vitamin E. I have skipped the vitamin C and vitamin E. There are so many herbs are there which comprises the vitamin C as well as the vitamin E. They are having a great role for the skin. And it becomes very difficult for me to compile each and every herb which contains the vitamin C and vitamin E. Then volatile oils in skin care. We have discussed the calendula, rose oil, eucalyptus oil, chamomile, citrus oil, geranium oil, lavender oil, and tea tree oil. Then various antioxidants which are being used in the skin care like a tea, grape seed, red clover, and fenugreek. And the last point which we have discussed is the coloring agents in the skin cosmetics like a anato, avocado, beetroot, butterfly, carrot, henna, hibiscus, iris, and indigo. Some of the herbs which we have discussed under the skin care, they are also being used in the hair care. They are, they are going to act as, they are going to prevent the hair loss. They are going to promote the growth of hair. Isn't it? They are going to improve the microcirculation when we are going to apply onto the scalp or they are going to be used as a coloring agent in the various hair care. So this is about the herbs for skin care. Thank you very much.